My name is Joel, and welcome back to the Psalms of the Summer, and I am going to be reading to you Psalms 111 to 115. So let's get right into it. If I can, if I can get to it. Okay, there we go. All right. Praise the Lord. I will thank the Lord with all my heart as I meet with his godly people. How amazing are the deeds of the Lord. All who delight in him should ponder them. Everything he does reveals his glory and majesty. His righteousness never fails. He causes us to remember his wonderful works. How gracious and merciful is our Lord. He gives food to those who fear him. He always remembers his covenant. He has shown his great power to his people by giving them the lands of other nations. All he does is just and good, and all his commandments are trustworthy. They are forever true, to be obeyed faithfully and with integrity. He has paid a full ransom for his people. He has guaranteed his covenant with them forever. What a holy, awe-inspiring name he has. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom. All who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom forever. Praise him forever. Praise the Lord. How joyful are those who fear the Lord and delight in his obeying his commandments. Their children will be successful everywhere. An entire generation of godly people will be blessed. They themselves will be healthy and their good deeds will last forever. Light shines in the darkness for the godly. They are generous, compassionate, and righteous. Good comes to those who lend money generously and conduct their business fairly. Such people will not be overcome by evil. Those who are righteous will be long remembered. They do not fear bad news. They confidently trust the Lord to care for them. They are confident and fearless and can face their foes triumphantly. They share freely and give generously to those in need. Their good deeds will be remembered forever. They will have influence and honor. The wicked will see this and be infuriated. They will grind their teeth in anger. They will slink away their hopes thwarted. Praise the Lord. Yes, give praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Be blessed the name of the Lord, now and forever. Everywhere from east to west, praise the name of the Lord. For the Lord is high above the nations, his glory higher than the heavens. Who can compare with the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high? He stoops to look down on heaven and earth. He lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump. He sets them among princes, even the princes of his own people. He gives the childless woman a family, making her a happy mother. Praise the Lord. When the Israelites escaped from Egypt, when the family of Jacob left that foreign land and the land of Judah became God's sanctuary and Israel became his kingdom, the Red Sea saw them coming and hurried out of their way. The water of the Jordan River turned away. The mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. What's wrong, Red Sea, that made you hurry out of their way? What happened, Jordan River, that you turned away? Why mountains did you skip like rams? Why hills like lambs? Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. He turned the rock into a pool of water. Yes, a spring of water flowed from solid rock. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name goes all the glory for your unfailing love and faithfulness. Why let the nation say, where is their God? Our God is in the heavens and he does as he wishes. Their idols are merely things of silver and gold shaped by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak and eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, and noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feet, and feet but cannot walk, throats but cannot make a sound. And those who make idols are just like them, as are all who trust in them. O Israel, trust the Lord. He is your helper and your shield. O priests, descendants of Aaron, trust the Lord. He is your helper and your shield. All you who fear the Lord, trust the Lord. He is your helper and your shield. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. He will bless the people of Israel and bless the priests, the descendants of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both great and lowly. May the Lord richly bless you, both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth, 
The heavens belong to the Lord, but he has given the earth to all humanity. The dead cannot sing praises to the Lord, for they have gone into silence of the grave. But we can praise the Lord both now and forever. Praise the Lord. So I just encourage you to keep praising the Lord throughout your entire life, even through your ups and downs, even through your lefts and rights, whatever you're going through in your life, just keep praising the Lord because the Lord has you in his hands and he will protect you and he will shield you from anything that tries to come against you because you are his child, you are his favorite, you are his lover, you belong to him and he belongs to you. It is a beautiful exchange, it is a wonderful agreement and it is a friendship that can last for eternity. So keep on praising the Lord. If you liked today's video, check out the Here Be Lions app for more resources.